I'm Curtis Howerton with Berkey's Farm Store, and today we're going to be putting a rate control module on a 2800 Nutriplacer. Over here we've got our rate control module breakout cable, our terminator, our ISO bus cable, our rate control module, our foot switch, an adapter for our flow meter, our foot switch adapter cable, and then we've got our section breakout cable for our rate control module. So we've got our rate control module bolted in place here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and first, we're gonna install our rate control module kind of breakout cable. And we're gonna plug him directly into the bottom of the rate control module. Making sure that we take this cap and we cap the center hole. So that one is not gonna be used in this application. Now that we've got that harness in place, I'm just gonna temporarily set that up there. And now we need to take our can terminator install him on the side that we're not going to use. Perfect. Next, we're going to take our section breakout cable and we're going to install it on the other end of the Y. This would be the large round connection. Like so. Now that we've got him installed, that leaves us with all of our section breakouts for our flow meter, our pressure, our sections depending on how many we have. So now we can start hooking those up. First I'm going to go ahead and start with my flow meter here. I'm going to unhook it from the existing system. In this case I have to use a flow meter adapter to adapt it over to the three pin style, the flow meter that we have. Plug him in there, get my flow meter, it should be labeled here flow, and I'll plug him in. Now that we've done that, we got my control valve. I need to go ahead and plug him in. And now we can go ahead and hook up our sections. Now that we have all of our sections hooked up, we can go ahead and take our ISO bus cable, run it back, and hook it up into the can side. And don't forget to install our power. Perfect. Now we're gonna run this up the hitch to the machine. Now that we've got the rate control module and everything done on the machine, we just take our ISO bus connection and plug it in at the rear of the machine. We also need to ensure that we do our foot switch as well, or our master switch. Now that we've got our rate control module installed and connected to the machine, on the display, run seven should be our default for ISO bus. So we're gonna go to run seven and we can see we see our rate control module over here. So we're gonna select him and it's gonna ask us to create a profile. We see our one ECU, that's our rate control module with the serial number there. Only one product we're controlling in this application. Our application is gonna be liquid and we're doing it by the gallon. Our application mode, liquid. Not doing auxiliary inputs. Our number of sections, in this case we have a five section. And there's our section widths. They're all equal. Again, no auxiliary drivers. They're showing us our section widths. Do we have a pressure sensor installed? In this case, we do not, so we're gonna continue through that. We do also do not have a height switch. We have a standard control valve, and here's our response rates, our valve delay and control effort. Our flow meter calibration. Our flow meter calibration can be found on a tag on the flow meter. So this says on the back of the tag, the meter cal is per pulses per 10 units of measured volume and 1460 is our meter cal. So our flow meter calibration was 1460 and that is pulses per 10 gallon. We do not have a fill sensor. If we did, we could do that here. We could also keep track of our tank capacity here as well. Our tank capacity here is 1300 gallon. Go ahead and put that in and we are currently full and we want our low tank level to come on and notify me at 100 gallon with an alarm. 
here's where we set up our rates. So for our rates, I can put in my generic rates that I want to run on my presets. And then my rate bump. So when I hit the plus button, how much, how many gallons do I want it to go up per acre? First, that looks good. I can leave my alarm set at 20%. If it gets off rate by 20%, it's gonna notify me with an alarm as well. And this just kind of gives me an overview of my implement. Now that I've got my implement set up, we should be able to see here, this is my implement with my sections, my tank, my current level, everything through there. So now we need to check our implement status, which is shown in the upper left. Uh, telling us whether our implement is raised or lowered. Looks like right now it, my implement is down. I can go to my menu here and check my implement measurements as well. So under measurements, I should see my measurements, my application width is gonna pre-populate from the implement that we set up. So we need to enter our bar distance and our hitch to axle distance. Next, we can select our grower farm field button and make sure we're in a valid grower farm in a field. In this case, I'll just go ahead and add a test grower farm field. It's gonna go ahead and pre-populate our task there as well. Down here, we can see that our controller is a liquid controller and it's 40 foot. We need to add in our product here. So in this case, I'll go in and add my product as 32. And again, I have an option here for gallons per acre that I wanna put on as my preset rates. And this is a fertilizer. Now that we've got that done, it should show us that it's selected here. So we're gonna to toggle our foot switch and verify that that's working. Looks like it is here by our master on and our master off. We're gonna set up a test speed. We'll just put five mile an hour. Go to our home page. See here we've got a test speed in at five mile an hour. And now when I toggle my foot switch, I should see my sections kick on down at the bottom. We have to have our master on. Now we can see our sections on down at the bottom of the page. I'm Curtis Howerton and thank you for joining us in this video of installing a rate control module. Please visit your local Berkey's for more information. Thank you.